Evening everyone, this is the uh, Depressed Eeyore, and this is uh, Dungeons and Dreadmoor. It's been a while, I figure I, since I'm about done with the uh, Conquest of Elysium playthroughs, I'm gonna start a few more of these random runs. Uh, our last one was actually a lot of fun. Um, if I hadn't have shown off that new dungeon th uh, level zero thing, I probably would have uh, survived for several floors with the highlighters and everything. But uh, sadly, Random Alice had to die. We actually almost pulled through. It was actually pretty intense. It's been a while since I had so much fun using such uh, skills I've never really uh, messed with before, like piracy and uh, the max levels of perception. So um, let's go ahead and get this started. As always, it's going to be going rogue, permadeath, no and with the expansion. Alright, and as always, as per the name, it's going to be random. Uh, we're gonna be using we have maces, unarmed combat, dual wielding, perception, emo mancy, uh, the wear diggle curse, and killer vegan again. So I'm familiar with most of these. Um, I have done mace before. Um, unarmed comic, combat is kind of a fun skill to use because um, it, does, it doesn't stop you from using shields. So what most people do is they'll go unarmed combat and then dual wield shields. Usually like duelist bucklers for like counter attack or just you know just big shields to absorb hits dual wielding um, that means I can I won't suffer the penalty for having a uh, weapon in each hand it's always good uh, perception we know about very very much Mancy, we haven't really got the mess with much um, I think we had it in the, the first playthrough with uh, random Cerno but uh, that's about it. Uh, we didn't really get survive long enough to mess with it any further. Wear Diggle Curse is kind of a unique thing. Um, the problem with Wear Diggle Curse, though, is it makes these skills useless. <laughs> if I if I go for Wear Diggle, um, I practically negate my weapon skills, except maybe unarmed combat. And we know about Killer Vegan, so let's go ahead and get that started. Um, let's see, looking at our skills. We shall be random mailing. Or is it mailing? I'll go mailing. There we go. And done. Alright, usual intro. And here we go. We're we're in. Um, we start out with level teleports apart, which we I've shown off before in a previous playthrough. And we have where diggle form. Um, where Diggle Form will practically buff you. It's really good for an early game thing, uh, so I can't really complain there. Sorry, I'm getting my controls mixed up. Uh, we start out with a Leather Curse. I believe that has to do with the fact we have some more um, warrior levels than anything else. Um, the Hachimaki is a um, helmet that gives plus one damage and plus one stubbornness, which is just raw stats. It's it's all right if you're like playing a character that doesn't wear. Uh, want to go uh, the, ar the heavy armor route. Um, the reason I have this is because I'm skilled in unarmed combat. Um, the club is because I have skill and uh, I have the uh, mace skill. Other than that, uh, we don't have any crafting skills, So, and due to the fact we're vegan, uh, we start out with just tofu and a bunch of drinks. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you now where Diggle Form does not use mana, I don't believe. So the only thing that will be using magic is level teleports apart. Let's go ahead and take a look at our skills. Um, they've updated some of these skills, so I don't know everything about the mace. Well, actually, they've changed a lot of these. Um, anyway, the um, as you can see, my arm strike will do uh, one blunt and one piercing, which is always good. The one problem is it doesn't dual wield, so it doesn't really work too that great. But um, I think I still get all the stat benefits, so I still get like the three counter, two block, and two dodge. Um, this is a uh, kick that knocks people back. Um, this is just raw stats. Um, this does an AoE that I believe blows people away as well. Um, and then this is just raw stats with, I think, a chance to cause um, like status effects, like bleed damage. And this is just the final ability that gives a lot of high stats and ethereal damage, it looks like. Sorry, I'm kind of. I'm gonna go ahead and use this first video, just kind of explain what we have. Um, this allows me to do two extra blunt, um, and gives you critical chance. The um, each of the weapon skills generally has something uh, attached to it. Like in this case, it's usually critical chance. 
Um, Swords usually has a good counter cha chance, I believe. Axe does just raw damage, I believe. Or I think it's block. And I think that's all the weapon types. Oh, and Staff, you know, Staff does, like, magic stuff. So, um, did you do? Gives you a chance to hit a hand. Okay. Uh, this is a chance for your weapons proc, uh, causing knockback. This is actually really good. Um, it's practically... Usually it only knocks them back by one space, and then they'll just move forward one space, which means you just get got yourself a free hit. <laughs> um, this is just raw stats. Um, this is a special a area effect attack in front of you, I believe. I, I believe it's like um, three squares wide and two squares deep in front of you. This is just a chance to do the uh, same thing as Stone Soul. It just gives you um, a chance to do like uh, procs that do like uh, lead damage and stuff. And this is just a lot of raw stats. Oh, okay, and in this case also it gives you a chance to do stun. Okay. And uh, dual wielding. Uh, dual wielding supposedly is, I don't know if it's still bugged, um, but it, it's been rumored to be bugged. So mainly the main reason you get dual wield is mainly is just to be able to use two weapons. Uh, the way dual wielding works is you swing both weapons at the same time with one attack roll and add all the damage together. So it's 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 raw offense as you can probably guess, but a lot of these give you a um, counter chance and block chance, so you're not completely defenseless. Uh, excuse me. Um, a lot of these, if you um, certain things happen, you'll get uh, bonuses, like uh, maybe like more st more counter and stuff like that. I believe that's what these two do. Um, I don't know about combat momentum, and I don't know about not dreads. Well, I know dr not dreads is just um, increases stats. I don't know about combat moment, it's been a while. Yeah, we know about vegan. Uh, I think I kind of showed off some of Emomancy, but... Uh, it The cure is really good. It's, it allows you to remove um, debuffs. The rest of these, uh, I'm not sure how good they really are. Um, I think depressing elemental blast is supposedly good, but I mean, that's six level ups to get there. And, it's still, and it costs 37 mana, so... Uh, we know everything about Perception. <laughs> um, eye Lasers is awesome. Uh, second Sight is great. Um, the, the raw stats you get is always good. Um, the bad news about this, this setup right now is we have no Trap Disarm. As you can see, the only thing that gives us any Trap Disarm is Trap Sense, if we, and that's two level ups. Um, we know about veganism. Okay, we, um, the way where Diggle Curse get, works is, as you see, there's a lot of level ups. Um, everything revolves around where Diggle form. It lasts about, um, I don't remember how many, it lasts for a certain amount of rounds, but then there's this cooldown. And when you go into where Diggle form, all your skills on your skill bar disappear, except for where, where Diggle skills. So that's why it's not good to be like a caster and where Diggle at the same time. Um, the wear diggle form gives you raw stats of automatically, like piercing, resistance, um, more damage, stuff like that. Um, and then each of these will start giving you like new abilities. Like this one will give you um, a chance to debuff, and also gives you just raw stats and res resistances. Uh, this one gives you more stats and resistances. This one allows you to go invisible, which is useless. Um, this one allows you to lay diggle eggs, which would be kind of useful except for the fact that you are kill a vegan, and I can't use those eggs. Um, the Mighty Augur um, is supposedly one of the most overpowered things, because of the ability, it allows you to drill through walls. And the, the only other ability in the game that allows you to do that is in Golomancy, and it has a long cooldown and a lot of a high mana cost. Um, the reason this is overpowered is, supposedly, unless it's been patched, um, you can actually steal items from the shop without any repercussions by using drilling into the side of the walls and just stealing from there. Um, Arc Digital Smash, um, I believe is just some special ability, and then this just gives you a lot of stats. I haven't really gone too far on where Diggle form. Um, I usually just had the first point, uh, the first level of it, and then I just used it to like buff myself if I needed it in an early game. So I'm not sure what all I'm going to do yet. Sorry, there was probably a skip there. Alright. Okay, there's, there's a uh, hefty stick there. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see, if I unequip my weapon, um, I, my damages change. Even affects, even increases my ranged attacks, which is kind of weird. 
but uh, right now Gnarled Club does more damage because it does two, and then I get two from the, um, excuse me, the um, two from the sk first skill I had, and then it gives me plus three damage for my stats. So right now I'm swinging for seven, which is a really good, w this, is, this is a good start. So no complaints there. And what I can do here is equip this to my offhand, and now I do six damage crushing because this does two here. Um, if you do like a gnarled club in both each hand, you don't get the, the stat buff, uh, the uh, the buff from your skills twice. It doesn't work that way. As you can see, the an this animal's not attacking me because I'm a vegan. So that will be a little annoying, but uh, bearable. All right, just trying to get past these guys. There we go. Get some plums. Um, Cerberus. As you can see, I can't really disarm traps. Um, I'll go ahead and do it anyway, though. Aha, I succeeded. So even like the easiest traps, I can't disarm, which is pretty bad. Well, for now, I'm going to go ahead and pick up whatever I find. Luckily, I don't have to deal with any crafting or anything like that. So it's just going to be me making whatever. Ouch. Usually I'll leave these, but I don't need them because I'm actually good at melee. Speaking of being good at melee, let's swap these. This is a mace. It's a nail board TM. You can actually make this with like an iron uh, iron ingot and a, like a knob club. <laughs> There's even a like a TM2 which has two nails through it. As you can see, it just increases my damage. Blah blah. blah. Oh, never mind. Um, what I said about the. Uh, not getting stat bonuses for both hands, uh, that's a lie. <laughs> As you can see, it increases it by 4 instead of 2, and I also got one extra um, crit chance, which is all for my skill. So there you go, That's it's a good idea to stack your, um, your, your specialized weapons. So now I'm doing 13 damage. Yeah, that's fine, you can go ahead and give me anti-magic. What is that? Oh, thought my nest. Don't mess with those. Just like um, before, if I um, attack in melee on these little baddies, they will not be happy. Come on. Okay, I can't really make them go where I want it. Oh good, I just farmed it. Oh great, more diggles. I think this is just a diggle room. Yeah, just a diggle room. I'll go ahead and take the eggs for now, just to sell. Alright, um, I want to go ahead and just head up here first. Ow. There we go. Ouch. A lot of spellcasters. This is actually kind of bad. I have to, um... No, I'm not going to use word deckle form. <laughs> I'll see if it... I'll, I'll try it in a sec. things teleport to you as I as I probably mentioned before. So I can't exactly move. So I'll just do this way. Ow. I'm gonna die. <laughs> well this will be a very short playthrough. Yep. Alright. Well that was the end of that. Um I somehow took uh, oh I know why I took that. That's because I ate an egg I think. But um yeah, that's the danger of dealing with, like, uh, spellcasters. I, I thought I was going to be able to take them. Also, I stood in that a little too long. Just took too much damage. So, um, yeah, that was kind of a short playthrough. So, let's go ahead and, um, I'll cut the video off here. And, uh, I'll probably just put this as a fail run. <laughs> and, um, I'll start a new game. Alright, so I'll be right back, guys. Uh, mailing the adventurer, level 1. Died, got killed by an evil magic potato. So there you go. Alright. Be right back, guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm the Depressed Dio, and this is uh, Dungeons & Redmore, the random run. Alright, uh, I'll see you guys later.